It's the weekend. Perfect weekend, actually. Good morning, everyone. My name's Adam Helfman. This is Hire It Done. That's right. Not do it yourself. Hire it done. But I'm not anti do it yourself. You should all know that. I'm pro do it for me. I want you to get the best contractor. I want you to find somebody that knows what they're doing, that actually has some experience, that's solution minded, right? Isn't that what we want in a good contractor? One that's solution minded? That's important because if there's a problem on the job, you want to solve it. What's wrong with that, folks? Solving problems is what good contractors do. You know, uh, we have a really good show lined up today. I've got uh, Greg Tittle from Tittle Brothers. We're starting the roofing season. Uh, I've got Jim Seggy, Seggy Renovations. We've got uh, Josh Young, Voltron Power, talking about electrical. Lots of lots of good advice going around. And uh, you know what? I'm here to share with you. We're going to have Lori Meyer. She's a do-it-yourselfer who has a very popular Facebook page. She'll be calling in at the 8 o'clock hour. Uh, and her Facebook page is all do-it-yourself, but there's always a twist. People are always looking for good contractors. So we want to uh, talk about how the page started and stuff like that. We also have uh, uh, coming into the show today, which will be exciting, is Lori Smith of Trading Spaces. Maybe you heard of her. Uh, I'm going to ask her some great questions because she's in town for the home show because there's a home show this weekend, the Novi Home Show. We gave away sh a bunch of tickets last week, and uh, we uh, are going to be there. I'm going to be there later today saying hi to all my contractors and checking out what's going on. I like to go to those shows because I like to keep my finger on the pulse of what's going on because that's what we do at Hire It Done. We want you to have fun. We want you to have hassle-free home improvement. And, of course, if you have a, a question, you can always email me. Um, and if, the best part about that is it's free. Adam at HireItDone.com. You can always help me out. Uh, you can email me if you need help on your home improvement project. And then, of course, we might pick your uh, email and play it on the air and give everyone the same advice. Speaking of, let's go to the mailbag. Adam, I own a house in Royal Oak, and we had some water come up through the basement drain in a recent rainstorm. I had a big name contractor come out. I won't say who. Well, that helps. And they won't. They want to do all this waterproofing at a sump pump. They want twenty thousand dollars or more to fix what I thought was just a clogged drain. Is this really the only option, or is there something else I can do? Well, looks sounds like a loaded question to me, but let's break it down. Let's just break it down for everyone. If you got water coming in in your basement. You got to find out where it's coming from. If it's coming from a drain, coming up from a drain, um, that's you know most likely something internal. However, sometimes what they call hydrostatic pressure, um, water comes down the backside of your or the sides of the walls, and then underneath your slab, and then as the water builds up, it pushes from the bottom, and sometimes the bleeders will go through, and then it comes in through a drain, and it comes up out of the floor. So you got to find out what kind of waterproof, what a pressure it is. But if there is water coming out of the floor, it is hydrostatic pressure. It's not a hard fix, but you really need to have a professional waterproofer fix it. That's always the best thing to do. Um, and that's important. So getting that done properly is never a hard idea. It's just getting the right contractor out there. $20,000 to fix a basement water job. Sometimes the guys will give you a price on doing all four walls. And doing it so you never have to worry about it. Sometimes that's the right way to do it. Why not? My attitude is solve the problem. Um, sometimes hydrostatic pressure can be solved by putting in a new sump crock. Because you relieve that pressure and the water goes into the sump crock. But then you got to have a sump pump going all the way out. Which is always a good thing. So um, that's what we want to do in order to like, get it like that. But if it's a... If it's a just a clogged drain, yeah, you got to call a plumber. Have the plumber uh, snake it out, make sure it works fine. But then while you're there, always get a battery backup sump pump. 
Some people like the water pressure pumps that are from the city, but I say battery backup. It's the best way to go. Um, anyways, long story short, that's what you got to do. If you have a question for me, always email me, adam at hiredone.com. Uh, this morning in studio, text us, 97136. We've... Uh, Got uh, Lori Smith from Trading Spaces in studio coming up soon, so she uh, she definitely is uh, going to be someone. I'm going to ask some good questions for her. You know, HGTV. Everybody watches HGTV, and in a half hour they remodel and they do all kinds of stuff. But is that reality? I'm going to ask her that because I want to know. I used to work on a reality television show. I'm gonna, we're going to her and I are going to see if we know the same people. Remember the show Extreme Makeover Home Edition. I worked for them uh, for two seasons, and uh, I built a lot of houses. Remember the one in Oak Park here? I was the builder. Deaf parents, blind autistic child. It was a tough one. But I did it. We won an Emmy. It was fun. All right, we're going to take a quick break. When I come back, let's get, we'll get Lori Smith on from Trading Spaces. I'm Adam Helfman. You're listening to the Hired Done Radio Network. Good morning. Welcome back. This is Hire It Done. Yeah. Go live, right? Okay. Yeah. You were shaking your head. I'm like, what did I do wrong? <laughs> Anyways, welcome back. Text us 97136 if you're listening to the show and you're snow plowing out there. Sean and Warren plowing for the Warren Public Schools. He's out with his coworkers, Paul and Tina, and they're busting their humps. High fives to them. Anyways, um, We've got Ron Alexander in studio. Uh, he's our professional master plumber from Higher Done. Welcome back, Ron. Good morning again. Yeah. So, Ron, uh, I've got a question for you. The uh, Okay, good. We've got, you know, you're going to be at the home show, right? Yes. Okay, cool. So, on the phone right now joining us is Michael Stoskoff from the Home Builder Association. He's the CEO. Are you there, Michael? Hey, I am. Thank you very much for having us on this nice snowy morning here in Michigan. I love it. Well, I'm glad you were able to take the time to call in this morning, Michael. As you know, next weekend is the uh, Novi Home Show. Can you give our listeners the details, please? Sure. Uh, we uh, open next Friday, January 24th, and we're open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 24th to 26th. Friday, we open at 2 p.m. Uh, we're open till 8, Saturday, 10 to 8, and Sunday, 10 to 5. Uh, of course, we're the region's largest and longest-running producer of quality home shows, and we hold them uh, every year and several times a year. Actually, at Suburban Collection Showplace right there in Novi. Uh, can be relocated between Beck and Novi Roads. Which is awesome. And so uh, we've got Ron Alexander in studio. He's our master plumber. He actually has a booth there uh, near uh, Finished Basements Plus this year, and he's, like, all excited about the home show because – it's a great place for people to go to gr ask questions, meet the plumbers, meet the contractors, and really see if you're going to think about doing some home improvement. You get to kick the tires, basically. Am I right? It, you're absolutely correct. And, you know, this weekend is going to be sort of shut down for everybody because of the snowstorm. But next weekend looks like it's going to be just fine. And that's, you know, one of the reasons that our January home show has historically been our biggest attended home show is people get tired.
Good morning. Welcome back. This is Hire It Done. My name's Adam Helfman. Great Saturday morning. As you all know, or maybe you don't, but people who tune in the show regularly uh, know that this weekend's the Novi Home Show, and uh, literally, it starts with the home show season, and uh, we've got a great home show this weekend at the Novi Home Show, the Suburban Show Place. In studio right now, live with me, is Michael Stoskoff, the CEO of the Home Builders Association. He brought a special guest with him. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Adam. How are you doing? Thanks for having us on. I am awesome today. Super fantastic, in fact. And uh, we've got Lori Smith. Did I say that right? Yeah, of course. From Trading Spaces in studio. Good morning, Lori. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Nice to meet you, right? Live on radio. I know. <laughs> and I walked right in. Welcome to Detroit. Thank you. It is great to be here. It's a little colder than it is in Nashville, but, you know, I tried to bring the sun. You're from Nashville? I'm from Nashville. I love Nashville. Nashville's awesome. There used to be a deli there called the Nashville Deli. Oh, it's still there. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's man. so good. I have a good friend in the business, the music business that lives there, uh, Stephanie Wooten. I don't know okay. if you know. Her husband's like one of the, I don't know, one of the famous players of something. Uh, there's so many of them. Yeah. So like, really cool. I see Tim McGraw at Whole Foods. Do you really? I do. You're like, yeah, Tim, uh, you getting a kombucha? What you yeah, got we on? all just kind of walk by. You know, there are lots of, we see all these guys. And it, that's the cool thing about Nashville. Yeah. You know, just anyway. It's the best. Off well, that. no, it's okay. Talking about Nashville. So, <laughs> Trading Spaces, Laura, you've been around. You started in the 90s. Yes. It's kind of crazy to think about, but we, uh, we went on the air at the end of 99 when wow. they were just in the learning, you know, TLC was still the learning channel. Like we came on, I think after a brain surgery. Right. And it was her sophomore <laughs> year in high school when she yeah, started. Yeah, right. I mean, look I at her. wish. <laughs> You're you know, sweet. Funny. No, that we're show, all a little older. <laughs> that show spawned a lot of reality TV. It really did. Especially in the home improvement business. It did. I remember specifically my son was born in 2002 and we were nominated for a primetime Emmy. So he was three weeks old and I'm carrying him to L.A., you know, because I'm excited. You don't miss that. Right. But they not. put us between the cast of Alias and West Wing and there was no reality category. No, not in yet, television. Yeah, it wasn't, right. No. So they put us in documentaries and of course, it was post 9 11, so we lost to a 9 11, like real documentary, you know. Yeah. But just to kind of reflect on what we were at the time, it was, right. it was crazy. People had no idea how home improvement television would become addictive. Right. I, like, I'm addicted to the Food Channel, even though I'm an expert in the home improvement business, but I flip flop between HGTV and Food Network. It's mm -hmm. just how I am. But that happens. So, uh, you're going to be at the Novi Home Show today. Yes. On stage, Michael, what time? On stage at, at noon and then again at 4 o'clock and then tomorrow at 11 a.m. Because we've got to get around a plane back to Nashville. Yes. That's cool. Well, welcome to Detroit. Have you ever been here? Well, years ago we we shot here. I know I've or filmed here. I've, I, I think it's been about 15 or 16 years. Right. Probably. So I worked on a TV show called Extreme Makeover Home Edition. You worked with Ty. I worked with Ty, and I worked yeah. with Denise Cramsey. I don't know if you remember uh, her. Yeah. I know. Mysterious. We were really, really good friends, her and I. Mm. She came here and visited me, and yeah. like a week before she passed. So, really? yeah, like mm -hmm. unbelievable. We were really tight. Yeah. Um, but I just knew I only Ty all of I haven't talked to him in a while, but well. those are some great memories. Yeah, he's he's just still the same. Dude, right, right. Great. ADD. Mile a minute. <laughs> well, you know, I'll just inject with this one thing. Truly one of the most authentically generous hearts out there. Like, it doesn't just... Legit, yeah. Yeah, it's it's the real deal. His heart, yeah, he, he means what he says. He's not like a BSer. He's legit. And he's got great talent. Yeah. So he's, you know, just needs to be corralled because he's... Over here and over there and up here and down there and everywhere. He's written a great book about his ADD. Did you know that? I uh, I heard about it. I've not read it. Though. It's awesome. Really? I think it's helping. Probably him. tells a good story. It does. I it's bet. It's encouraging many. So let's talk about you, your new show. Yes, we're back. Welcome back. Know, thanks. It's been fun. Yeah. Any Anything different between then and now? We have $2,000 instead of one. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. For so, I, I was hoping you brought that up because I'm not looking to bust anyone's bubble or, or anything, but your show, amongst all the rest of the home improvement shows, has put together a misinformation on the reality of homeowners. I get homeowners email me on my brand, Hire It Done. 
hey, I saw on TV you can remodel a bathroom for fifteen hundred dollars. Oh, well, do you see trading spaces though? Ours, uh, ours yeah, of course. look like. I mean, they're legitimate. Sometimes they look, I don't want to say like theater sets, but, you know, you can tell that we have low budget compared to these other shows. But you do such a good job, though. Well, thank you. We try, but it's it's the real deal. It's I mean, never easy. Talk about Denise Cramsey. She used to she was a come in. Cluster. I mean, she, two right. pennies over budget, that item. You know, if it was an artificial flower, it's out of the room. She was the know? renovation police. We yeah, know. she was. I mean, our, our show, I, I will honestly say... I mean, and I put in the exhausting hours. I wish we also had these little, you know, crews behind the scenes that would come in and make it all right. happen, but not so much, you know. <laughs> no, so you do it, but I, and again, you do a great job, and I'm not trying to take away anything, but the whole thing is on the reality side. I get homeowners oh, yeah. who say, why is the contractor 15000 to put a no, new vanity countertop subway is, tile? It's very frustrating. It, it is. It just, maybe we should have a disclaimer. This is reality TV. We really did spend two grand, and, you know, you can do this too. However... That or make some more accountability out there in the real world because I, yeah, that's I, true. Having gone through renovations, I know what it takes, what it should cost, and then the reality of what it ends up costing is triple that, sometimes quadruple, and it's very frustrating. Right. So from the flip side, I'm kind of like, well, 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 <laughs> maybe oh. we're putting a little bit of a microscope on it, right. <laughs> educating. Very. That's so, fair but, enough. Fair enough. You're right. I don't know. It's, you know, listen, it goes both ways. It I, does. I spend my time finding it's really good balance. contractors, you know? Yeah. So it's hard, but, you know, just doing good work is not the whole battle. It's, it's right. running the business. That's why we have a relationship with the Home Builders Association because building professionalism yes. and promoting that, you know, yes. there's two kinds of contractors, the good contractors and the bad contractors. I've had both. Right? And boy, what an experience to have a good one finally, which I did last spring. Not only did he finish under his estimated budget, like I was like, are you sure? Like, like I couldn't believe You're it. Like, really? Love and that. he finished to the day on time that he project. I mean, I was like, what? I, I, I and it yeah. was such a. It just restored my hope and faith. That's great. In contractors. So, do you see any trends on what you're doing now, or is it like, even though you're, you know, x amount of years after redoing the show? Is cost gone up? Have you seen like any differences? Like you're like, oh, my, is anything jump out at you and say, oh my god, you know, or what's new I is think, old, what's old is new again? Well, I, I think just having been in the industry twenty years, I'm I'm constantly surprised and overwhelmed by the uh, breadth of resources that are coming at us and constantly evolving and this product and that product and now you know I, I installed a gorgeous it looked so real like the most real marble but ceramic tile and and those kind of products are exciting to me because a they're cost friendly you know b they're gonna wear well you know and yeah. and so I I get very excited when I see technology being able to improve, 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 improve. Uh, lighting, you know. That's how you light is big. And yeah. I know you have a lighting background. I do have a lighting All background. Right. I, I designed <clears throat> lighting for a company out of Charleston. And I, it, lighting is critical. It's absolutely critical. Always is. All right, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk more about upcoming episodes, trends that you might think, mm -hmm. and maybe mm -hmm. some tips for homeowners. Mm -hmm. I'm Adam Healthman. You're listening to the Hire It Done Radio Network, 97.1 The Ticket. Mechanical is sitting in today with me and Steve Iverson from Finish Basements Plus, Remodeler of the Year. Remodeler of the Year. Yep. That's really good. Yeah, it's awesome. I love it. Well, legit, you know, when homeowners are thinking about buying a finished basement or renovating their basement, like, why not start with the best? And the best part about, uh, besides the fact that you do really good work, you guys are not that expensive. If you think about it and you add up everything that you do, it's not, you're not going to the highest price. For the service we offer, I think we're we're right in the middle of right. professional remodelers. That's what I think. You know, you never that's because lowest. he doesn't pay his subs very much. That's why. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey man, that's this negotiations. Guy, right? I don't have a heated windshield. <laughs> yeah, hey, we're gonna have to renegotiate. Right. Heated windshield. What's going on there? <laughs> but that's okay. Hey, and uh, shout out to all the snowplow guys who are out there plowing right now. Uh, 
text us, 97136, if you're out plowing and listening to the show. We'd love to uh, give you a shout out and a thank you for uh, keeping the roads and the uh, driveways clear and all that. Those guys work their butts off, don't they? They stay yeah. up all night. Wow, that's a tough project. Right? Tough deal. I did it once. I, I, no, it's not for me. I've never done it. <laughs> <laughs> I was a guy who had to jump out with a snowblower and shovel and do the sidewalks and things. Well, no, I'll pass. Right. I think my dad bought me a snowblower once, but I never used it. <laughs> like when I was little. It's like the lawnmower. I'm like, yeah, what's this? What's that for? <laughs> She's like, do I have to college. call someone to come and use it? shake his head. He's like, you're just from the neck down worthless. <laughs> I'm like, thanks, Dad. Love you, too. <laughs> it's okay. From the chin up, he knew. Yeah. So, okay. So you're remodeling a basement. You're finishing it. You're making it nice. But there's so many products you can ch- you know, you can choose from. Steve, let's go from the ground up. So the flooring. Right, yeah. you said luxury vinyl tile. Um, vinyl flooring in a basement is great because if there's a flood, there's no mold. It won't, you know, it won't ruin it. Right, right. But it looks just like hardwood, right? It looks awesome. It's got a wood grain to it. Um, it can survive pretty much any water event uh, that you have. And you know, basements are prone to they're below grade, so they're prone to leakage. But they're, you know, if the water heater fails, if the dishwasher blows a, a gasket. Um, water vents come from every direction. Yeah. So the materials you put in your basement need to be selected with care. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. So now, you know, the old typical basement walls, this clean, you know, insulation, to regular <laughs> two-by-fours, drywall. Yeah. Is there an alternate to that? Yeah. I mean, really, most uh, professionals in our industry don't touch wood studs anymore. They don't touch fiberglass insulation or regular drywall, um, pretty much anybody who's doing basement finishing for a living is uh, sticking to non-organic materials that cannot support mold growth. And I'm assuming you guys. Yeah, we have a polystyrene um, that's impregnated with graphite. Welcome back. This is Hire It Done. My name is Adam Helfman. In studio, Michael Stoskoff, CEO of Home Builder Association, with his special guest at the, and it's going to be live at the home show today, Lori Smith of Trading Spaces. Welcome back, Lori. Thank you. It's great to be here. Yeah. So, Michael, we're going to be, she's going to be live at the home show today. Live at the home show today, our inspiration stage. Uh, she goes on at 12 o'clock and 4 o'clock today, 11 a.m. tomorrow. Perfect. So you got to get to the home show. That's what I'm saying. Last week we gave away a boatload of tickets. Boatload of tickets. Last couple of weeks, right? Yeah. So uh, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be hanging out. I always like to keep my finger on the pulse of what's going on in the home improvement business. Otherwise, uh, something might pass me by. I'm now intrigued about this ceramic towel. It looks like marble. <laughs> Lori, tell me more about this. Well, it's awesome. It's a product um, that is designed by Atlas Concord, which is actually an Italian towel company who has opened their domestic office here in the States in Nashville. So I Perfect. was able to meet them. So it's it's really cool. I've kind of paired up with them doing some marketing. <laughs> it's almost like Garanimals for tile. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you remember Garanimals? Hold on a second. Yeah. I, I, my whole life was about Garanimals. Garanimals, right? Because my top, my bottom, the elephant had to match the elephant. Right. No question about it. That 
when they got rid of that and I had to make my own choices, life got really difficult for me. All right. Well, this program's the mood program. And so what we're doing is we like went in and I said, okay, let's establish five distinct looks to begin with, like a traditional, contemporary, modern, coastal, and urban, you know, transitional. And so we've done a program where we've pulled together all, I mean, they have so many wonderful choices, but like we put together options for the consumer. This goes with this. This goes with this, or this goes with this, but we That's smart. eliminate all, kind of like what I was talking about earlier when you said, what are the big changes? I'm like, there's just so much out there. Over, information it's overload. Over, it's information overload. So we're trying to kind of hone it in. Yes, smart. Still giving them choices. But anyway, that's what I'm working on right now, and I'm loving it. It's really fun because I love teaching. I love I love empowering the homeowners to know that they can do this, and home is an well, expression that's important. of them. So that is that part of what you're going to be talking about today yes. on this at the home show? Yes, it is. It's um I it's a visual. There's a visual component. I've got um. Slides, uh, slides, you can say that. <laughs> yeah, PowerPoint. Slides, yeah, a PowerPoint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Laurie, finish drinking your tea. Um, wake up. Uh, I have a PowerPoint that are like 40 something images, but it's a walk through two personal um, home renovation stories one of a 50s mid century modern and one of a super contemporary home. But it's there are befores, then down to studs, then the beautiful afters. Mm -hmm. um, and and through that, I'll discuss process, evaluating the bones of your home, really understanding traffic patterns and and trying to come up with efficient ways to really utilize every room in your house with multifunction and simple changes that can be made with lighting, et cetera. Well, that's, that's all. You know, every project tells a story. That's why I love the renovation business because yeah. even though let's say you focused on room additions or kitchens or baths or whatever it is, Every job or every bathroom you do is different at mm. every home. Even though if it's a three-piece bath, it's still different for this homeowner. I know. That's the uniqueness of it. At it, least it, I like it. I, I love it, too, because every every home should be an expression of the person living there. To some degree, it should reflect who they are. So, of course, your yeah. home's going to look different from my home's going to look. <clears throat> I always thought it would be fun to, like, give the same materials to two different you know, designers in two different homes and then see that, you know, same paint color, same textile, same whatever, but then see how different it all looks at the end. That's a great idea. Why don't you? Do that? Yeah. Shh, I should do that. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Just now as I said show. it, I'm like, that could be kind of fun. Yeah, renovation, you yeah, know, contest see, or something. You know, you the same even, materials, same yeah, room, see, and everyone does their own version. Yeah. Well, and then uh, people vote on the winner. Something? At some home shows, they have Lego building contests, build a house for for kids. Right. Well, and Adam, if you went. But we don't have it at our home show. Yeah. But they give them the same same building block, yeah. same style and everything. And the, the imagination myriad, goes nuts. The imagination yeah. goes nuts. So that awesome. would be, that's a great idea. That's yeah. trademark now for. Uh, okay. Yeah. How do we? Yeah, Laura. <laughs> just get your uh, executive producers, get them on it. It'll be fun. So you should, you know what's funny? You should, do you have a podcast? I don't. You need one. We're launching one. Uh, what's that now? We're launching a podcast. Are you? Home, it's called Contractor Therapy. Yeah, I, I would love that. And it's Home Improvement Nightmare Stories. <laughs> okay, that is awesome. Right? You know, people will learn from that. Yeah, you know, my background do, is yeah. journalism. I have a journalism degree from SMU. You're a writer. Yeah, I'm a writer and, and broadcast. Oh so that was back in the day. You're made for that. Uh, I, I do miss it. I love stuff like this. Well, Home Improvement is so, like... So good. It's, you know, there's no negativity. There's no positivity. It's just good information. It's good. It's addicting. You know, it, one thing back to what you said about the oh, so many choices today with the internet, like in 99, you didn't have Amazon. You didn't. Have, no. It, it wasn't Pinterest. No. Well, like <laughs> I, was, I, I almost laugh because people are like, don't you love being back on trading spaces now with all that's out there? I mean, doesn't it make your job so much easier? And I'm like, no, no, it really doesn't. I mean, from a from a logistic standpoint, it back in 2000 when no one had cell phones or you had these big, huge, you know, <laughs> or the tiny little flip phones certainly wasn't a smartphone. I mean, I would land in L.A., you know, this I'd have we'd walk on set that morning. This is still the deal. I'd see the room pretty much for the first time because I had some bad photos, you know, that someone in television took and they had no idea what I needed, you know. But I had, but I walk in and I had about six hours, seven hours in LA to shop that entire room. Well, that entailed me using a paper map 
Right. No GPS. <laughs> no iPhone. No iPhone. <laughs> that entailed me using a paper map, driving to a payphone, right. opening yellow pages, calling stores. Do, Do you, have, you this? have this? <laughs> I mean, right. what? You That's know, a, so, but. And you made it work. But we made it work. And honestly, I think. We were shopping more local to that. St- I mean, it felt a little more authentic because we were literally in right. the city shopping in that city. You were close. Yeah. I mean, at that point, when we started the show, I don't even think Target had a home department. They Coming sold up. towels, maybe. Right, right. It was like a Martha Stewart thing but or something. They had one or two items. That was it. It? Yeah. yeah. Soap dishes. You couldn't, yeah. But you can get lance. You can get furniture. So you had to get crafty. We had to get crafty. Really crafty. You know, well, I don't even like to use the word crafty. Let's not use that word. I don't like crafts. Sorry, that's terrible. But, like, you had to really think outside the box. So we had to go into Salvation Army or whatever and really see a coffee table in a totally different way. Right. Do we saw the legs off it? Do we put metal on it? Do we do this? Do we, you know, wrap this table? I mean, wrapping a tabletop in pleather you know to make it with studs right. you know to make it leather looking you know all those the are the projects feeling. that you did yeah yeah and that's that's to me what what brought it home to to all viewers because no matter your budget you were like even if you weren't going to go wrap your tabletop in pleather with um right. <laughs> nail head you thought oh but i could do this right you, you know it got creative. your thoughts going yeah well, and that's why i love the show it's important. We're talking with Lori Smith of Trading Spaces. She's going to be live today at the Novi Home Show at noon. At noon and 4 o'clock. And then Woo-hoo, on Sunday as well. Seven, yeah. uh, 11 o'clock on Sunday, yeah. Okay, uh, Michael, what's the hours of the show today? So we open this morning at 10 a.m. We're open 10 to 8. Uh, so hopefully everybody can come out and catch Lori on stage. Um, but if you can't get out till later in the afternoon, we have our $5 after 5 promotion this afternoon. And tomorrow we're open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And if you're thinking of renovating anything around your house, you got to go to the Novi Home Show today because it's the kickoff. It's really the start of the home improvement season. I it think. is. And, and, you know, we've talked about this before. The, this is the way a lot of these exhibitors get their business. This is where they choose to spend their marketing dollars. They're booking now maybe for jobs that start in June. So, you know, the backlog is there. It's, the challenge is real. If you want to get your home improved and you want a professional plan to now. do it, plan now. Yeah, the, the, yes. the people that are proactive are the ones that always end up doing it right. But, hey, always if you need a good contractor, just visit HireDone.com. We have the best. Exactly. <laughs> um, so, Lori, um, what, what, what your show here is on – the trading space is on HG or is it on TLC? What, what's TLC? It's on TLC. Okay. Yeah, we've always been on TLC. TLC correct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And any unique episodes that you think are coming up that are you, you look out for or something like really cool? Oh, well, you know, I can't really talk about You're what not allowed hasn't to. come out. But but I think we've had an amazing couple of seasons back and you can stream them. And, you know, that's the, right. that's a beautiful thing. I mean, when we were on TV before, if you missed it, oh, well. <laughs> So, yeah, no, the whole cast came back, even Ty. Right. You know, although he's a designer now. Did you know that? And not a carpenter. He's evolved. He got a promotion. He's I think. evolved. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. All right. Well, um, that's good. Is yeah. there a, uh, all right. Well, is there a website or anything we can send people to for you? Yeah. Um, LaurieHSmith.com. And you can contact me through that with questions Perfect. and different things that I'm up to. I'm also on Instagram, LaurieHSmith. I'd love for you to follow me on Instagram. And There it is. I'll, yeah. I'll, make, I'll put it out there. LaurieHSmith.com. Yeah. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. It's great to meet much. you. So good yeah, to meet you. Of course. Yeah. Michael, I'll see you probably this afternoon. Yeah, it sounds great. Awesome. All right, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back. More home improvement advice that's priceless. Hassle-free, that is. I'm Adam Helfman. You're listening to the Hire It Done Radio Network. Be six. If uh, you're plowing, we'll give you a shout-out. Be safe out there, everyone. I should trade a service call for somebody to plow at my house. Hey, here we go. You we're talking. <laughs> you know there's an app for that now. Right? Yeah. We were talking about that. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Like Uber. You can just go on your lo- go online, click on your address. They'll come out. They take a picture before. They take a picture after. They ding your credit card right then and there. Next. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. I, I mean, kind of think that's a great the, idea. Why the, didn't I think of that? Yeah. The app app finds out how, you know, you can see how close different vehicles are to your to your house. Right. 
How far away? That's pretty you interesting. Do that with Hire It Done. Instant Hire It Done. Basement now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Finish Basements Plus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's over on Woodward. He'll be there in five minutes. <laughs> got a few contracts if you can call. <laughs> you got a few people. Yeah. yeah no. You, get, you know, here's the thing. I think we've, got, we've talked about this, but I want to say it again. I think Google ruined the home improvement business. Think about it. You watch HGTV in 28 minutes. They remodel the whole basement. Mm-hmm. Really? Not happening. No way. You Google, and the answer is instant. Yep. Everything are you going to get it? Steve Iverson from Finished Baseballs, are you going to get a basement instantly? No. Right. No. You can't do it in a week. <laughs> I need it done. You know, here it is. It's uh, it's May. You know, oh, I need my basement remodel. My son's having a graduation party. Can yep. you finish it before the June 5th deadline? What? <laughs> Not happening. No. Not happening. So if you're planning on remodeling a basement, and that's what Finish Basements Plus, tell me, what are the first steps people should be doing, Steve? Well, I guess it starts with uh, a 90-minute consultation. You know, they contact us. We come out. We talk to them about what they want to do. And then it kind of can go two different directions from there. We either measure, inspect, and start putting drawings together. Or, depending on the circumstances, we may on occasion have to bring our trade partners out, like Ron, look at the circumstances so we can get accurate quotes on certain details of the project. Um, then we sit down with the customer, present them with a design, a proposal, they sign, or hopefully they sign. Um, and then we put them into a selection process, so they sit down with our designers, and they're picking tile and flooring and countertops and the colors and everything. It's a lot of sele- it's a lot of information on a basement. It's just like building a house. Welcome back. This is Hire It Done. What a great interview. Lori Smith of Trading Spaces. LaurieHSmith.com. I'll let everyone know. Follow her on Instagram. It was good to see you, Lori. Michael, go to the home show today. Um, you get to meet a really unique uh, lady. Really cool. So what's on your home improvement list? Are you going to go to the home show? Can I give you some home show tips? Because if you're thinking about it, why not ask you know, the right questions to these contractors that are there. Now, here's an observation when you go to the home show. When you're walking up and down the aisles, if you see one of the people in a, in a contractor booth slouched in their chair with their head down into their phone, how are you going to buy from that company? When I had a contracting company, we had home show training, literally. My dad made us wear a sport coat. We had pre-printed name tags, okay? And the pre-printed name tags were, you know, your name and the name of your company. And you had to, we had to stand up the whole show for our, 
our, our booth, we had to stand in the aisle. And we weren't allowed to intimidate anyone. All we were allowed to do is say, hey, how you guys doing? Thinking of any home improvements? Do you like the show? Welcome to the show. Thanks for coming to the show. That was it. If someone said, oh, yeah, I'm thinking of a room addition. I'm thinking of a kitchen. You say, oh, come on in. Let me, let me show you what we got. If they say yes, great. If they say no, say, all right, well, enjoy the show. If you need anything, call, come back and see us. That was it. Today, you've got home show companies or you've got, you've got contractors and companies that have people that are just hired to be at the home show. I don't agree with that. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but I personally don't agree with that because a lot of these people that sit in these booths are just there. Oh, yeah, here's a brochure. You wanted this? You want that? Come on, call us, call us. Give me your name, your name. And they don't really talk to you about the home improvement. If you think about it, you got companies, let's use a company, uh, Rapid Roofing, okay? I know them. Rapid Basement, or Rapid Dry, I'm sorry. And these guys, they're at the home show. The owners are there. They've got their employees there. They don't hire people to stand in their booth. And they're going to answer your questions. Right? Think about that. Ron Alexander from Shelby Mechanical, he's going to have people there. Home show. Plumbers. Finish Basements Plus, right? They're going to be answering your questions about basements. It's important that you know that. That's why we want everyone to understand that going to the home show, you want to talk to people that are actually working at the company, not a home show employee that's just there to give out brochures. The other thing is, is you know, ask them, do they do work in your area? Have they done work in your area? Ask them about job similar to what you want. And if there is a home show special, make sure you take note of it. Because, listen, negotiations in a home improvement business or home improvement contract, when you're, con when you're hiring somebody, it's legit. It's normal. You're allowed to. You're allowed to do that. You're allowed to ask for a better price. Now, the contractor can say, hey, Mrs. Mrs. Homeowner, listen, this is the best price I can give you. If you want to take something out of the project, you can do that too. But what's the worst that happens? You ask. Hey, I love your company. I want you to do my bathroom. I like the price, but it's a little bit out of my budget. Can you do any better? How hard is it to ask a contractor that? The business today is busy. Contractors are busy. Good contractors are really busy. doesn't mean you can't use them. It doesn't mean you know, you're going to find someone that can get it right away. If a contractor can start right away, you got to be a little leery. So you got to watch out. That's why going to the home show gives you a better idea. You get to see the name of the company. You get to see the, the this is the kind of company that's coming to my house, right? That's important. That's what you need. So just like um, Lori Smith from Trading Spaces, you know, asking her questions, they really do only have a $2,000 budget. Isn't that interesting? They have to renovate a part of a house. They take on a project and their budget's two grand. Now, you should be not mistaking that, what they do, and even though their work is beautiful. And she did say, look, you can see. But still, it still looks good. But in a real renovation, a bathroom, you're gutting it to the studs. You're putting in new plumbing, tile, you know? Shout out to uh, Justin and the Moss Boys and Honest Johns. Um, and if you have a question this morning, you can text me 97136. Go on Facebook. Watch us live on Facebook. We got a lot going on. Um, but again, if you're thinking of home improvement, you're thinking of doing something around your house, what are you going to do? How are you going to do it? Are you just going to go online and look for a contractor? Are you going to go to the home show? Are you going to ask friends? Where do you go? You know, listen, we bring contractors on the show every week. Why do you think I do that? So that you, the homeowner who's thinking of getting a roof that doesn't leak, or you want a beautiful designer kitchen or a great bathroom or plumbing done right or a finished basement or siding, roofing, windows, kitchens, baths, electrical, plumbing, handyman, paint, drywall, insulation, generators, the list goes on and on and on. I want to bring these people on the show so that you can get a profile and say, yeah, this is the guy, Greg Tittle, who I want to do my roof. I want Jim Segan to design my kitchen. I want a plumber that's going to actually fix the plumbing. 
I want a toilet that flushes. Where do you go? What do you do? That's the point I'm taking. You, you know, we're here to help you with good advice. That's why I like to give you good advice. So I just want you to know, like, enjoy the content. Enjoy. Pretend like you're sitting in a coffee shop with me. You have a question? Chime in. Let me know. You can go us on Facebook. Uh, watch us on Facebook. And uh, we can uh, answer your questions there. And that's no pro no problem at all. But, hey, you know how it is. We want to we give you good advice. So what are the questions you're going to ask in a home show? Like I said, uh, how busy are you guys? When can you come out to my house? Are there any home show specials? Have you done work similar to the work I'm looking for? Uh, you know, and you get down to specialty, specialties. You want an egress window? We have Ally Apollo. Easy exit. Easy egress. They're good. Um, how about brickwork, blockwork, brick pavers, landscaping? You have drainage issues? There's all those people at the home show. What about gutters? Gutter protection. Right? Everyone should use protection. Hire it done is pro protection for your gutters. <laughs> it's just how we want to do it. But again, your house is your biggest investment. You need to protect it. You need to invest in it. You need to make sure you at least maintain it. And here's the next thing. How are you going to pay for it? How are you going to pay for your home improvement? Are you going to fund it out of your uh, bank account, credit cards, home improvement financing? That's a big one. What about flooring? Flooring is a big trend right now. Luxury vinyl tile. Hardwood, pre-finished. Never easy. So, basically, we want to make sure that you, the homeowner, understand what you're going to get, what you're not going to get. In fact, when you ask a contractor to put... Um, when you're asking a contractor to put everything in writing, because you say, oh, Adam, help him tell me to put it, make sure you put everything in writing. Tell him, Mr. Contractor, can you write it like a story, a beginning, a middle, and an end? Beginning is, you know, plans, permits, specs, and then all the way demo, and then, you know, t write it out like a story for me. And then once he does and gives it to you, read it. See if you understand it. And then give it back to him. And say, Mr. Contractor, thank you. I, I like this. However, Adam from Hire It Done says, put everything in writing now that's not included. Please put down what's not included. And what happens is when you ask the contractor to put in what in writing what's not included, it's just forcing him to think again. All right, let me take a look. What am I, what, you know, he's making him think about your project because it's your money. And you're thinking, okay, what's not included? And he's thinking, yeah, what's not included? Oh, painting. Painting's not included. Uh, uh, one dumpster. More than one dumpster's not included. There are a thousand things that could be not included. That's why you're, you're asking that question, to force the contractor to think. What renovation adds the most value to your home? I'm going to be buying my first home in June. Taylor from Farmington. Well, Taylor, it's a great question. Um, new kitchen, new bath is pretty much on the top of the list, but, you know, finished basement or whatever it needs. But kitchen and bath is number one, in my opinion. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, I've got Jim Seggy and Greg Tittle. We're going to be rocking it for an hour. I'm liking it. I'm Adam Helfman. You're listening to the Hire It Done Radio Network. Saturday. Snow day. Fun Why does it happen on a Saturday? Should have been like Monday, Tuesday. Oh, the kids are off. Does anyone want to go to sledding today? That's a great day to go sledding, right? I forgot about that. I haven't done that in forever. No. Franklin, Michigan has like the Franklin Hill. That's where I did it all. It's like this thing. Just a know. hill or they got a track? It's a hill. Yeah, we got a track out by our house. It, it used to be huge when I was little, but now it's like not so bad. Anyways, <laughs> welcome back. This is Hire It Done. My name's Adam Helfman. If you're out there snow plowing this morning, text us 97136. We'll give you a shout out. Ypsilanti Community School grounds guys are plowing up, getting the walks clear for the students. Awesome. Cisco Services, Canadian Lakes, Michigan. MJ Snow and Landscape. D&B Landscape in Livonia. Holden Green Turf in Troy. 
Dion with Amazon delivering packages early. All right, Dion, what's up? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm at lunch yesterday at a lunch meeting, and I signed up a while ago for the Amazon del- key delivery where they, they can deliver to your house with your key right. or your car. Don't and you your garage code I or was, too? I don't even know how this happened. I ordered like Fiji water, like I ordered them for the cases, and I'm at lunch, literally, and I get in the car, and the th- light comes on and says your rear tailgate's open. I'm like, what? So you know, in the in the SUV, you got to get out, and you got to close it. I I open it, and close. It. I see a box of Fiji water in the back of my SUV, and then I remembered at lunch, I got a text from Amazon that says your water's been delivered, and I'm like, wait a minute. You know, I figured the delivery, you know how they deliver to the front porch or whatever? Right. This guy put it in the back of my car at the restaurant. Like, they must have, like, some kind of voodoo science. Ooh, that's scary. They have your touch code or something for your, I think, for your I, vehicle? I, legit. They, I think I gave it to him. I don't you remember, like, 100%. The guy actually put it in my trunk. Yeah, he knew I was there. Crazy. Right. That's like cray-cray. Like, whoa. Yeah. They're supposed to, you can give them your garage code now, and they'll put it in your garage. Yeah. Until my that, guy does you know. it. We're, I mean, I order everything. I order dirt, through. Everything. Amazon, everything. I don't go to the store for nothing. I'm gonna. I haven't done the grocery store <laughs> ordering yet. I'm gonna try that next. You know, like whatever they do, where you could go online and start clicking. Yep. But what if they give you rotten bananas? Like, what if I don't? I like to hand pick all my fruit. Mm-hmm. Do I put a little special note? Hey, give me the ripe stuff. Yep, yep. What? That's Probably crazy. Comes green. I don't know. Anyways, I am all hopped up. It's Saturday morning. <laughs> Having a good time. We've got Ron Alexander, expert master plumber, over thirty years. Right? Yes. <laughs> Shelby Mechanical, all-star yep. plumber, and in the co-pilot seat today with Ron, Steve Iverson from Finnish Basements Plus, contractor of the year. Conch, yeah, <laughs> I saw that. Look out. Woo, VIPs in the house. <laughs> right. We good bow. morning, Steve. Morning, how are you? Awesome. It's good to hear. Yeah, good to have you too, man. Yeah. Had a good year, 19, right? We did. 2020, yeah. we're going to kick ass? We are. We're on, we already started. You're booked to like June. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite there yet, but halfway. I was gonna figure. Like, like if you're thinking of remodeling your basement, and finishing it, literally, the guy's the benchmark and like to do it with, right? But you better call him now because that's the right way to do it. It's to plan now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, I think you have the old statement that people spend more time planning a vacation than a remodeling project, and right, it seems to be true. You know? Somebody Ooh. called me the other day and said, "Can you get me Disney tickets?" And I'm like, what? Who's calling me? Like, go to StubHub or something, something like that, right? Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I went online and started looking at Disney tickets. It is the Disney's as much as a renovation job now. <laughs> yeah. It's a thousand a person, right? Oh, yeah. I went last summer. I remember as a kid, though, they said Disney tickets never expire. Did you ever know that? They, like, last forever? Once you buy them? Yeah. If you, like, no, until no, you like, attend? No, no. If, yeah, until you attend. But if you buy a ticket, like, in 1980 and you have it in your drawer, you can go in there and say, here's my ticket. No kidding. Yeah, I heard that. No, I wouldn't I don't hear know. that. Listen, I'd rather talk remodeling. <laughs> yeah, with this weather, I'd rather talk Florida. Right. <laughs> you know what's funny? I've been thinking about going to Florida for the weekend. My parents are down there. Just you know, it's former Spartan know. Jaron Jackson Jr. Right was the right. difference last night. He scored Florida. twenty-four. It was twenty-nine points in the first half. So Sank okay, let's talk. In the fourth quarter. Let's get it right going. Left. Memphis <laughs> holds off the Pistons. Right. Shout out to Rainbow Lakes and one Shelby Township, by the way. After another one, Great Lakes landscape from Eric Chesterfield. Following the Tri County was area. All about all right. Thanks for all your hard work, folks. Oakland, Macomb, Wayne County, and everyone else in the surrounding areas, the road service guys, you guys are rocking it out. All our shout out here at the sports station this morning for you. So, Steve, tell everyone about Finished Bases Plus. Contractor of the Year, dude. Yeah, we were uh, nominated for that award through the Builders Association of Southeast Michigan. And uh, we were selected as the, the remodeler of the year. Um, That's Mark Champion and Rick yeah, Mahone right here at nine four seven one. I'm gonna say this, and I, you know, I, legitimately, I'm knowing you now. Andre since Drummond, who was out with the yeah. lacerated what did we take Dale Carnegie in Brooklyn like, tonight at the um, Little Caesars, right here on ninety seven one. Yeah. Like in the nineties, tip off it was, it was is at seven yeah. p.m. Old. Michigan basketball <laughs> today at home against the Fighting <laughs> Illini. That'll be called new tip off from the Crisis Center. For me, on eight nine three WWJ, Michigan already got beat by Illinois back in December seventy one sixty two. 
yeah, you've come a long way, and I really, I have mad respect for you and your company because little, little, you know, finding a good contractor today is not easy. It's super tough, and you have grinded it out, and every year, Finnish Basis Plus comes up with something new, more efficient, better quality. Meanwhile, on the PGA Tour, it is Tiger Woods. He is six shots behind the leader through two rounds out in San Diego. He was one under par. It's good to have people. Ryan like Palmer in the lead. From our update desk comes Jeff Lesson for more. Ninety-seven so well one the ticket dot com. Get to the jobs. We know what we're doing. We get POs. It's fantastic. It's a know, professional to, to, to work for him. Yeah. So we've got Ryan Alexander, who's been a professional plumber for over thirty years. He's got Shelby Mechanical. Uh, you're out of Sterling Heights. Sh- Shelby. Well, we're in, we're completely in Shelby now. We were, had some stuff going on in yeah. Sterling Heights. Okay. We moved. And you do plumbing all over Metro Detroit. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Um. One of the things that I want to mention on the radio right now with you guys is I learned something all the time, but I learned something new. Back in the day when everybody was building houses and they put the plumbing in the basement, I, we've said this before, but I want to remind everyone, and they had the pipe, the PVC pipe sticking out of the ground. Mm-hmm. I learned over time that half the time those pipes were just sitting out of the ground. They really weren't even connected <laughs> for the most part. But homeowners always had the impression, oh, it's pre-plumbed for a bathroom in your basement. Like it was a value, right? Right. And they're like, oh, we got to design everything around this. I asked Steve one time about that, and then you confirmed it. I'm like, do you have to put it there? And he's like, dude, no. It's like so easy. He's like, Shelby McKenna comes in, they'll break the floor out in three, four. You can move it anywhere you want. And it's like, oh, the light bulb went on. It's like, it's that easy. You can put a bathroom anywhere in a basement now, right? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, whether you use the pre-plumb, you use PVC Mm -hmm. stacks, you use ejector pits. There's a variety of different ways to get it done. And you can Mm -hmm. improve the design dramatically, typically, by not using the pre-plumb because it's not put in a place that makes sense with any kind of floor plan. Never. <laughs> very, right. very rarely. We're always moving it somewhere, right. so it's not a big deal. So there you have it. Anyone listening right now, if you're thinking of remodeling a basement, think about that. You just heard it from the pros. A professional plumber, a professional remodeler, you don't have to put the bathroom where they say, bam, how about them apples? Yeah. <laughs> Right? Get you some of that. Right. <laughs> now, is there a different plumbing that you have to use when you're in a basement? Like, you know, I like the power flush toilet anyways with the heated seat. Fixtures? Yeah. Okay. No, you can use it. It don't matter. No. Yeah. But what if the, the sewer line is higher and coming out of the middle of the wall? Well, that's when we use a sewage ejector then to lift it up. So you drain everything into that and then pump it up and out. Question about a sewer ejector. Mm-hmm. Is it called a macerator too? or is that Yeah, the, some people call it that. Is it grind up all the poop? Yeah. <laughs> just it just doesn't no baby wipes and no feminine products because it eats those pumps alive. Wait a minute, don't I put use them baby down wipes. There. Not with a I don't use toilet paper anymore. Ejector. I you, don't. No, you don't have a sewage ejector. No, but I don't, I use baby wipes. Well, that's still. I mean, I wouldn't. If you got older pipes, cast iron is still not a good thing to use. They're not. I, they don't you know break down I, like they say they do. Of course, they say oh, toilet friendly, flushable, blah 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 blah. Yeah, that BS, right? Not, Until not. the guy comes out with the one that it's a one wipe and go what type of thing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I have that. I have the bidet. He does. All right, great. I cannot get the temperature right on it, though. It's just, yeah, it's one of those. We put a mixing valve in for you so it's set at the proper temperature all the time. I'm kind of a just little afraid of it, to be honest. <laughs> I, have a, I have the toilet with the heated seat, and when you sit down, it has a fan. It goes, and it like, it's really cool. That sounds amazing. It is. Yeah. I'm on the, well, I do all my Facebook again on the toilet. They're still working on the <laughs>
Good morning. This is Hired Done. My name's Adam Helfman, home improvement expert, fourth generation contractor, and just a head, good guy. That's all. Every homeowner's best friend. So it's home improvement season. Saturday morning, you're thinking about what you got to do around your house. And as you know, when you tune into the show every weekend, uh, we bring in some of the industry leaders. We bring in people that know what they're doing so that you want a home improvement done, you get it hassle-free. So let's get right into it because we've got a lot of stuff to talk about today. In studio is Jim Seggy from Seggy Renovations. Good morning, Jim. Morning, Adam. Fabulous oh. as always. Great yeah. to be here, and it's a beautiful day, even though it's ugly outside. Right? In the studio, it's beautiful. It is. In fact, you can see us all on Facebook Live if you go to the Hired Done Facebook page, 97.1 Facebook page. We got going on right now. Uh, also, uh, joining us is All Star Roofer, one of the best in the business. Just ask any manufacturer. Greg Tittle from Tittle Brothers. Good morning, Greg. Good morning. Thanks Welcome for back. Me. Yeah. Great you've been to be here. A, you you it's been a while since you've been on the show. Yeah, it's been a little bit. Probably What's up about with that? Six months. I don't know. I think schedule we were really busy and well, you know, there you all go. That good stuff. I'll take busy as an yeah. excuse. Yeah. So that's cool. So home improvement, you know, there's a home show this weekend. Everyone goes to the home show. And I always tell people when you go to the home show, just check out contractors, ask questions, and get some information. And then when you come home from the home show, then you start gathering who you want to call into your home, who you want to figure out. And I always tell people, go to Hire It Done because we have great contractors. A lot of them are at the home show. A lot of them aren't. But the point is it's, it's the trigger of the home improvement season. Greg, you predominantly do roofing, although you do other stuff. That's correct. Are you seeing an uptick right now, or what are you yeah. seeing? <clears throat> I, I think that, um, you know, in uh, 18, we had that windstorm, March 8th. Yeah. And uh, they call it the storm hangover. So we've, we've seen a little... Uh, you know, lull in the roofing industry, and all the uh, all the manufacturers are predicting this year to be a, a good roofing season. Um, that that roofing hangover is very smart. You know, is over. I never call, I never thought about calling it a roofing hangover because a lot of roofs were taken out of the market Correct. at that point, and yes. that was like a boom year, and it carried into nineteen, but then it caught up. Right. And so exactly. now there was a lull. Yep. Makes perfect sense. Yep. And so now the people who have or it's catching up again, so you're gonna you're gonna build in your backlog. Correct. I see it in higher done. We're already getting uh, people coming in and inquiring about it. Well, you know, this time of the year is is really um, it's really critical to get out and get that roofing quote. You know, because everybody's gonna get their backlog pretty quick. So you don't want to wait till April when the weather changes to go. Oh, you know, we're gonna get our roof replaced. Uh, because by then you're probably going to wait till July or August to get it installed. To get it installed, so a lot of people are getting quotes, getting on the books now, and getting actually last year's pricing. So it's a very good idea to get your quotes, lock in that price, because you get your best pricing in the winter. You know, right when there's now. a backlog of roofing, and the guys have six, eight, ten, twelve weeks of work. There's no incentive to give you a good price. So right now, when you know work is slow, it's low. Everybody's trying to aggressively go out and get new work. You, the homeowner is going to get the best pricing right now. Okay, so it makes perfect sense. Yep. So if you're thinking of getting a roof this year, obviously get get on the. On, it doesn't cost anything to get a no, price. No, it's it's uh, you know, for us, you can sign up. We have uh, financing. You know, you can get your roof done today and and uh, pay in a year. You know, zero yeah. percent well, interest. There's all kinds financing. of different programs out there. That's important because I'm you know again, you know, though we've had a great economy, you know, financing is always, and it's starting to bubble up again, financing. So we're mm -hmm. going to talk about that. Yep. Jim Seggy, Seggy Renovations. How was your 2019? Good year? We're doing awesome. 2020 looking out to be a great year? Sure is. You know, right now we've got, uh, we're we're transforming five basements into lower levels. And really? It's, just, it's, it's fabulous. I like that. That's awesome. Um, so you're busy. Yes. Uh, any trends you're seeing? Um. Yeah, I, I guess, uh, you know, there, there's actually a couple trends that we're seeing. Um, like I say, we're transforming a lot of basements into lower levels. And anybody that I, any clients that I go to see, I make sure that we don't talk about their basement because it should be an extension of their home. That's very important to me that, you know, you're, somebody's in your upstairs or your main floor when you go into the lower level that it just looks like an extension of your home. That's kind of our goal. So, we, so you drywall the ceilings. Yes. Yeah, so we, we take all the challenges and we work really, really hard to make sure that um, it's as close to your lower level as possible. You have ceiling Makes elevations sense. and certain things. that. How you often does to, your, your basement remodeling jobs that you do, how often are there kitchens involved? I would say probably 80%. Okay, yeah. And and, and I, it's nice that you say kitchens because it used to, you know, years ago it was always called a bar, but that people are going away from that. Um, 
and we'll do anywhere from uh, a kitchen that is just a mini kitchen, maybe six, eight feet long, to a full-fledged kitchen. Right. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I wasn't sure about that. So that makes sense. And your your timeline is you better ca- call you now. Yes. Because, you're, you know. Well, we're busy, but, you know, the nice thing is I have just such an awesome group of guys that I work with for the different trades that – uh, and and I try to take good care of my guys. That way, I'm yeah. kind of first on their list. So well, they'll respond to you quickly. I, I, yes, so that's I, another sign of a great contractor. Yeah. is where they respond. Greg, um, when you do your jobs, because you're well, you do more than roofing. What else do you do besides roofing? We do uh, roofing, siding, uh, masonry. We do some uh, a lot of garages, dr- you know, driveways, porches, porch overhangs are big. Uh, the back back uh, back porch overhangs. So more of a um, you know, entertaining area, yeah, of stamp concrete. A new staycation out there. Yep, exactly. Makes sense. Makes yeah. perfect sense. Well, that's important because, you know, look, again, uh, finding good contractors for homeowners today is frustrating. You know, they, you see a lot of advertising, you see a lot of uh, contractors seeing all these specials, but then you call, you're like, mm, I'm not so sure. But I'm going to, I'm going to take a quick break. When we come back, I want to talk about uh, homeowners who've done it themselves and then you've had to come in and fix it. Because a lot of people can't. I don't think roofers is the do-it-yourself project, but we'll, know. we'll see. I'm Adam Helfman. You're listening to the Higher Done Radio Network. Welcome back. This is Tyra Dunn. My name's Adam Helfman. It was a good interview. Christian Deasy from Christian's Gutters. If you want it done right, you just go to Hire It Done. We find great contractors. That's really, you know, it's a medium-sized family-owned business. Honest. He shows up. That's what we do here. Isn't that what you want as a homeowner, an honest contractor? One that's solution-minded, one that's not the most expensive? I mean, when you talk about it, Christian's gutters, never the most expensive, never the cheapest. They're right in the middle. Who wants anything but that? Plus, they do the job. You're happy when you're done. They clean up. They do it right. So, anyways. So, what else? Let's talk about trends for 2020, right? Is Glenn Hagee, may he rest in peace, he always said the most important tool in your toolbox is your checkbook. And you know what? He was right. Far be it for me to argue with the godfather of home improvement. He, uh, he do his stuff, but the times have changed, and today there's a new tool in your toolbox that I'm going to take credit for, and I've been saying this, and that tool, it's more important than your checkbook. That tool is time, four-letter word time, because today time is the new currency. Think about that, friends. Who has time to do it themselves? Who has time to build a deck? Who has time to renovate your basement? Do you have time to paint your house? People today are more busier, more preoccupied than we've ever been. And every year around this time, I hear from homeowners who say they didn't get the, the project done around the house like they wanted last year, that they wanted to get done now. Now there's a, a little bit of a, a rush to get it done. Sometimes it comes down to other expenses taking a priority. We're not all got the money tree, but just as often as it comes down to homeowners simply running out of time. That's because in the way that you budget for, your, for the cost of a project, you also have to budget your time to complete a project. It costs money. Time is money, my friends. It's important that we're all on the same page as me. Uh, and I just want to share that information with you because you need to know what about that. So let's separate this. Let's talk about step one. Separate your projects into two categories, okay? Large projects, small projects, and all, odd jobs. So the large project is one category. Then the small projects odd jobs is the other. Large projects are like redoing your bathroom, your kitchen, or finishing a basement, or maybe a new roof. That's still a large project, right? 
Uh, they're t- some, but typically they're multi-trade, meaning they require more than one contractor to complete and require an investment of a significant amount of time and money. Now, a large project doesn't consider it can, can give you a lot of time, but it is, you know, not cheap, is your roof. A roof is a large project. The average roof today costs ten grand. I know people say to me, oh, you talk about roofs a lot, but let me say this. Roofing is an expensive job. It's average job of today for a roof is ten thousand dollars. You don't want to spend that ten grand without calling the right contractor. And uh I had a conversation with Greg Tittle, Tittle Brothers Construction. Forget about the others, right? Greg Tittle, he's one of them. Welcome back. This is Hired Done. My name's Adam Helfman. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is the best home improvement advice anywhere. I got to be honest with you. I've got an all-star roofer in studio, Greg Tittle. Welcome back, Greg. Thank you. Jim Seggy, legend in the uh, home improvement business. Morning. Uh, so, have you ever had any do-it-yourself pro- projects go bad? Like they call you up, Jim, and say, "Listen, we ha- we put these cabinets in, and they're like upside down." Yeah, I. You know what? I, and, and actually, I'm probably the right guy to call because I'm so nice about. It. I go, look, I'm. I don't point fingers. I don't say you should have done this. You sh-. I says, let's just start fresh. Let me fix it, and here's what it costs, and call it good. Okay. What about you, Greg? Any do-it-yourself projects? Oh yeah, we've uh, we've had a uh, we get calls. Almost daily about... Uh, I did somebody, my own roof and I yeah. put the shingles in wrong. <laughs> well, somebody, you know, they hired, somebody works out of their house, no comp, no liability, no insurance. Yeah. Not certified through the manufacturer. And then you come out and you have to redo everything. Yeah. And Bye. that's, you know, they they rack the shingles, which is very, very common to see. Uh, a lot of dimensional shingles get racked, like they install them like a three tab. I want to talk about that. Yeah. I mean, it's such, but uh, the reason why I'm asking these questions is because joining me on the radio show right now is a... Semi-famous person on Facebook. Her name is Lori Myers. She's the founder of a group called the DIY Home Improvement Page. Are you there, Lori? I am. Hi, Adam. Good morning to you. Thanks for calling in. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm super fantastic. As you can tell, we're in the uh, radio studio here in uh, Metro Detroit. Um, and uh, we've got a, one of our roofers. We've got one of our kitchen designers. And we were talking about do-it-yourself going wrong and which got me to segue into you. You're the founder of the DIY Home Improvement page on Facebook. Is that correct? I am. How long has your group been around? Oh, um, since probably 2016, I think. Oh, wow. And now we're at 29,000 members and growing. That's amazing. So what made you want to start the group? Well, um, I'll keep it short and sweet. We bought a house, a ranch walkout, um, in Allegan, Michigan, uh, that was uh, lived in by a hoarder before, and it was a mess, and there was nothing for rent or sale that suited us. We bought this house from a friend. It was a disaster, and we lived through and are still living through a complete renovation. Well, there you go. So it's a never-ending project, right? It is, and I needed a lot of help and ideas, and I thought, you know what? Let me tap into the Facebook community and see what they can provide. Well, that was smart of you to do that. And so for anyone who's on Facebook, go to the, go check out her group. It's called DIY Home Improvement, uh, capital letters, DIY, and then the word home improvement. You'll be able to see it. Uh, and then they can check about the co- typical conversations in the group. What would you give an idea of what those are? Well, we get a lot of how do I do this? Um, people buy houses, they find something that's wrong with it, and they want to know how to fix it. Um, that's basically the gist of it. We get a lot of um, plumbing and electrical questions, and we do have a lot of um, experts and also DIY plumbing and electrical people on the group. Um, myself, I won't touch plumbing or electrical. I'll always hire it out um, because I'm not a plumber and I'm not an electrician, and I don't want my house to burn down or flood. Yeah, well, um, you get to go to the, the front things, of the home improvement class. <laughs> right. Um, so... Things that we get a lot of questions about are advice on best products to use in your house, finishes, fixtures, painting, that's a big one. Um, We get uh, before and after pictures of people doing their own home improvement projects. We get a lot of floors, how to rip them out, how to remove, install, what products can I apply over my existing floor, um, that sort of thing. So it sounds like a nice community of people helping each other in the home improvement space. 
Absolutely. We started really out as a boutique group, very small. Um, we wanted to keep the riffraff out, no personal promotion of your products or um, any items that you're selling. It's just very much a, um, you know, help me, I need help, and who can help me and who's done this and has experience with this. Generally just good, helpful advice, which makes sense. So if anyone who's listening wants to go on Facebook and check out the DIY Home Improvement page, um, Lori Myers is the founder of the page. I stumbled across the group as well, and I, I like that because you know, Lori, I I promote professional contractors, and what we want people to do is when you're when it's time to hire it done, or when it's time to find a good contractor, I'm trying to put people in a in the space where it's hassle free and they don't get ripped off. And I know homeowners have two fears. One of the fears is that they're going to get ripped off, especially when it comes to home improvement. The other fear is that they're going to overpay. Kind of similar, and so. Isn't that true? Like, why part of the reasons you have your group is because people are, want to help each other. They don't want to get ripped off? Absolutely. And what I'll say about this is that actually happened to me on a project. Um, uh, you could kind of say home improvement, but I had a horse trailer I wanted to put a living quarters in. Hired a contractor. Um, I didn't do my homework, and I got ripped off. So they did some shoddy work that I had to go back and redo. I learned a lot about how to run packs for plumbing. Um, which in my horse trailer is different. I wouldn't take on that job in a home. I would definitely hire that out. Um, so what I learned was that, um, number one, I could do it better than this Yahoo, um, and I did. But, um, you know, some suggestions that I, I'd like to offer people just from my own trial and error is do your homework, um, investigate the person, make sure they're licensed and insured when you do hire those those people. I know that you have a lot of good resources on the, on the Hire It Done, um, just the different uh, resources that you have on your website. You have a lot of videos. You have the, the live feeds, the show, obviously. Yeah. Um, so there's, there's a way to find out who's good out there and who's not. I wouldn't pay for a job 100% until it's complete. Um, make sure that you do everything in a check. Um, have a contract, uh, do smart. it right. Smart, 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 and smart again. Lori, um, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Excellent advice. Anybody who wants to get home improvement advice, DIY advice, visit the DIY Home Improvement page on Facebook. Lori, it was great talking to you. Um, I'd love to have you on again in the spring so that we can talk about trends in the spring, if you wouldn't mind. Um, Absolutely. And I do want to give a quick shout sure, out please to do. my other moderators, if I could. Of course. Uh, Lisa Ann and Laura um, Michael Weldon, they are the two moderators that are mostly running the group now, and uh, they do a fantastic job, and we really try to keep it drama-free there. Yeah, I, you know what? That's one of the things I liked about the group is straight up good questions and answers stayed that way. No one's critical, so that's the best. Thanks for calling in. I appreciate it. Thank you, Adam. Awesome. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. That was Lori Myers from the DIY Home Improvement page, and uh, she did a great job. Um, in that page, I, you know, I, I scour the internet for good pages. I scour the internet for good information. So, um, I came across the page. I contacted them and just a great group of people. So, you know, listen, I'm not anti do it yourself friends. I'm just pro do it for me. And, uh, you know, you're not going to do your own roof. Well, there are a few people, but you can't. So, but anyways, it was just good information. So I wanted to thank, uh, Lori for doing that. But back in studio here, uh, we have Jim Seggy and uh, Greg Tittle. Um, Greg, before we took a break for that, we were talking about sh- racking shingles. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? What the, on the dimensional shingles, there's a, a certain way you have to install them. And what's, what a lot of contractors, well, what some contractors do, they install them the same way you install a three-tab. And what happens is the, the butt seams line up. And it doesn't. Uh, it allows the water to wick right in underneath the shingles. So they're not supposed to line up. No, they're not. So okay. that's because uh, on the three tabs they have the rain lines. Sure. And on the dimensionals they don't. Okay, so we'll have to figure that out. Right, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to be talking about trends. Is the roofing changed? Is every roof a fifty-year roof? And then we're going to talk about how long should a kitchen really take? I'm Adam Helfman. You're listening to the Hire It Done Radio Network. Welcome back. This is Hired Done. My name is Adam Helfman. 
You're listening to the Hire It Done Radio Network. Joining me on the Hire It Done Radio Show is Michael Staskoff. He's the CEO of the Home Builders Association. Good morning, Michael. Good morning. How are you doing? Welcome back, my friend. Thanks for having us on. Always, always. So uh, let's talk about the Home Builders Association. If you're a contractor, a builder, you know, one of the things that homeowners always look for is if you're a member of associations or looking to always add to your professionalism. And the Home Builders Association is pretty much the place for a builder or contractor to be a member of if they're looking to always educate themselves and be part of the industry. Is that correct? Well, I'm a partial source, of course. So with that (laughs) disclosure, yes, absolutely. The Home Builders Association, uh, there's 700 local home builders associations across the country, over 20 in Michigan. We're the largest in Michigan. Uh, We're part of the National Association of Home Builders Federation. And really, it's it's new home builders, it's remodelers, trade subcontractors, and then all the different companies that want to work within the residential construction and remodeling industry. Uh, we're focused on professionalism. That is very important. It's the largest investment. Most everybody, that's in the sound of our voices right now, but most everybody in the country, the largest investment they'll ever make. Um, and so you want to make sure you protect that investment. So as you mention all the time with your, your stable of contractors on Hire It Done, you want to hire professionals. You want to know that you're getting the best quality service for that biggest investment that protects your family. And that's well said, actually. I really appreciate that. So the website for the Home Builder Association is hbaofmichigan.com. Is that uh, well, that, that's the state association for our local association uh, here, HBA of Southeastern Michigan, which covers Oakland, Wayne, Macomb, and St. Clair counties. It's real simple. It's builders.org. Oh, even better. Even better. Builders.org. Okay. I, you know, listen, I always have... Oh, I'm, you know, I'm a You're always learning on this show. Hey, whatever. You know how that goes. Right. So, Michael, let's talk about the state of the construction industry really quick. Sure. We've had a really good economy the last couple of years. We have. Uh, homeowners have been coming to hire it done in droves looking for contractors. And even I can't fulfill all the requests and the needs because my contractors are like, hey, Adam, we are backed up. We are booked. We can't take any more business. So we sometimes say to the homeowners, hey, listen, we're sorry. We only have one guy we can send you instead of four or three. And it's been frustrating because the, all the good guys are busy, plus add on the shortage of labor. And next thing you know, you got a little bit of a quandary. Are those mirrored with the with your what you think? Oh, uh, completely, absolutely, without equivocation. <laughs> um, it's it's a real tight market. That's you know that's the whole point of the of the home show. A lot of the exhibitors at the home show. This is how they do their marketing and business development. This is how they find leads. Um, and really, we're seeing uh, folks come out to a home show, and you want to get, you know, well, maybe not as much with Christian and his gutters, but you, you know, want to get a new roof put on, or you want to sure. do that new addition or bathroom remodel, kitchen remodel. Um, they're booking for May, June, July in January. So, oh, you know, well, you I know mean, I'll give you a ex- perfect example cycle. of this. You know, I'm glad you said that. Uh, one of my contractors finished Basements Plus. Yeah. HBA member. Yeah, Steve. Steve Iverson. Award-winning HBA member, right. by the way. Yeah, this. contract of the year. Yeah. Uh, he's a rock star. Welcome back. This is Hire It Done. Got a question for Greg Tittle from Tittle Brothers, Texas 97136. You got a roofing question? Or how about a kitchen, bath, lower level remodeling question? Jim Seggy, Seggy Renovations. Jim, let me ask you a question. Um, is there any trends you're seeing in 2020? You know, it was the white shaker cabinets. Still popular. I see gray is coming back. But what, is there anything else you're seeing? No, you know what? The the shaker and the grays and... Some of the grays, it's it's kind of a unique color because they're blending the grays and the browns. So there's some some browns that have the grayish tones to it. We're seeing a lot of that as well as just the plain grays. So I see, um, like the white is turning more of a vanilla. And, and a lot of like the Carrera marble style countertops. And uh, I'm 
when I use the term style, you don't use marble on kitchen counters. Because okay, tell me the- why. I have a f- customer right now who's fighting with me saying they have to have marble on the countertops in the kitchen. I'm like, you spill any olive oil, any red wine, yeah, any, anything, you're done. If, anything acidic will just eat it. Well, they don't care. Well, if they don't care, then what's um, the alternative in marble? With the same look. Oh, there's all you know. What, there's some drop dead gorgeous uh, uh, quartz products that look exactly like it. I mean, to me, if that's what they're looking for, uh, nobody's going to be able to tell the difference. And there's so many different uh, styles and colors. You can get it with really light veining in it. You can get it with kind of um, almost blotchy veining. In it. You can get so you can change it, uh, and it's consistent, and it really is good stuff. Yes. Is it expensive? Um. Quartz is a uh, quartz granite are really hard items to explain, but the the quartz is more expensive than some of your plain granites. But yet, when you get any granite that has any character movement to it, it's in the same price point as your quartz. So. Okay, but it's a, but it's still part of the kitchen. Yes, like air conditioning used to be optional. Now everyone gets air conditioning. Is quartz and granite optional, or is everyone getting it today? Oh, I haven't. Uh, yeah, I. I it's not optional. It's an automatic. It's an automatic. Right? That's what I figured. That's all right. And that's okay. The, and you know what? And, and so they make they make some of the laminates that look like the quartz and the granite. And by the time you get all the nice edges and get it to, so that it really looks like it, I tell people, you know, just. You're almost at the it, price. You're, you're almost deal. there. Okay. It's pointless. Greg, mm-hmm. roofing. What's the trend in roofing right now? Because I tell everyone, if you're going to get a new roof, it, just go for the 50-year roof and don't mess around. Exactly. What is, the, what is yours as a pro in the business? What do you recommend? Well, exactly what you're saying is um, a lot of people now are, are doing their legwork. They're, they're getting themselves educated. You mean they they're going do on that. YouTube? I'm sorry? They're Googling it? Yeah. YouTubing yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and the thing is, is that people, um, they know they're going to spend a little bit more money to get a full integrated system by hiring a platinum uh, Owens Corning platinum roofing contractor. That's what you, you're Owens Corning. We are Owens Corning platinum. We're one of only a handful in Southeast Michigan. Owens Corning is very, very strict and rigid on who they make a platinum contractor. Only the best in the business. You know, everybody's going to come out and tell you how great they are. But the way we, we look at it is the proof's in the pudding. Um, the thing is that when somebody goes, when you get a 50 year warranty, it's fully transferable to the next homeowner. So a lot of people say, well, I'm not going to, I don't need a 50 year. I'm not going to be in this house, maybe five years max. Well, that's great because when you go to sell that house, that warranty transfers and that that's worth its weight in gold. Because the fact of the matter is when you go to sell your house, the first two things somebody says when a new buyer looks at it, how old's your roof? Insurance. How old's your roof? How old's your roof and how old's your furnace? The two big ticket items. And so they know if that roof is covered. One, they can't negotiate your price down on when you go to sell the house. Like, oh, well, the roof's, you know, 10 years old. I want 10 grand, 20 grand off the asking price. You have this warranty to lay on the table. So it's really, uh, that seems to be what a lot of people are going towards. That's a great, great, great point. And if you're a real estate agent and you're listening to this, uh, text me 97136 if you agree with this, because I think this is a great point. If you're selling your house and you put a 50-year roof on it and it's got 45 years left, your house is worth more than the guy next door. Exactly. I get homeowners saying to me, hey, my insurance company won't insure me because they think I need a new roof because they took a satellite photo. What do they know? They don't. I just send you out there. Yeah. Or you have their warranty. You go, look, Bam. it's 10 years old right here and still warrantied from one of the largest shingle manufacturers in the United States. Now, what about the people who say, ah, warranties are worthless. Just read uh, the fine print. It's, it's all fuzzy math. It's lies. What do you tell them? Well, you know, the fact of the matter is you're getting your warranty from Owens Corning. So God forbid something happens to Tittle Brothers. You still have your warranty from the, one of the largest single manufacturers, you know, Fortune 500 country, company. So you have an ironclad warranty from Owens Corning. So um, a lot of the contractors are, who say that, oh, you know, warranties, oh, that's baloney, da, da, da. Well, it's because they can't get certified. That's why. So to get that 50-year warranty, you got to have a contractor who's certified do the install. Correct. Owens Corning is not going to go around and put their name on any company. You there's have, only a handful of platinum people, right? There is. There's only like 14 in Southeast Michigan. I mean, right. there's, there's, 90, there's 9,000 roofers. Oh, there's, there's probably 100,000 roofers in yeah. Southeast Michigan. It's ridiculous. Well, one of the requirements for hire it done is you have to be certified at the highest level in one of the manufacturers. So you, well, you've sense. hit them all, though. Yeah. yeah. How long have you been on hire it done? Since <laughs> 2005. Five. Yeah. Jim, you got some years to catch up. Greg's been part of hire it done since 2005. In fact, I remember when Carrie yelled at him. <laughs> Yeah, well, it was you know, about this time of the year when I wrote you that check. She's like, what are you doing? It's winter time. 2005, a quick story. In yeah. 2005, I met Greg yep. uh, at his office, and we were talking roofing. He had, I think you reached out to me because you heard me on this radio. Yep. And I'm like, listen, I got this new program. We're going to have homeowners go to the website. You're going to get leads. 
And I think it was like 1500 bucks yeah, at the time. I think that's what it was. Yeah. And you're like, you looked at me and you're like, I don't think so. And I'm like, dude, just give it a try. What's the big deal? And you're like, fine. You wrote a check. Fine. <laughs> I looked at the, who was the guy that was with me? Chad. Yeah. Well, Chad, that was his name. Boy, was he a douche. <laughs> um, anyways. You, uh, <laughs> you wrote the check. And I'm like, yeah, I got a great roofer. And then I'm like, all right, we got to go back. We got to go check the workout and everything. And then I remember Carrie. What did you call or something? You're like, what did you You were yelling at him. He didn't have authorization. I'm like, well, who are you? <laughs> yeah. It's Tittle. Is your name Tittle? And you're like, yeah. I'm like, okay, well, let's figure this out. And then we figured it out. And then the rest is history. Yeah. It's been 14 years now. 15 years. 15 years. Crazy, right? So, Jim, you've been on, you've been with Hydrogen now three, four, five years? Something like that. At, probably at least five. Okay. How do you like it? I think it's awesome because, you know, I, I actually believe and love the advice that you give. And since we're a multifaceted company, we use different contractors, and there's nobody that I trust more than your guys. I mean, you know well, darn well if, 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 I'm, uh, if I'm looking for a contractor for a little specialty item that we don't normally do, um, you're the first one I call. Uh, you, you actually do. You do a really good job. Um on and rec- on communicating back and forth. I, I, I pride myself in knowing what I don't know and knowing who knows to get what I need done. Well, there that's you go. Key. You're resourceful. Yes. But I learned from you. Just like I learned about roofing, all, most of my knowledge from roofing about from Greg, I learned a lot from you. What you recently taught me in the last year or so was I'm always talking about homeowners when the last payment. And you came up with the term useful completion. Yes. Instead of like punch list or, you know, you know, Job substantial completion. You said useful completion, right? Tell everyone in the uh, in the audience when a contractor asks for the final payment at useful completion. What does that mean? Uh, basically, that you can use the space. So I'll just use a bathroom as an example. Um, you know, if we've completed your project and say maybe one of the cabinet doors came damaged, or one of the, say one of the guys screwed up one of the doors or something like that. Put the doors on, and you can actually go in there, and you can use the bathroom, and you can shower, and yeah. it's 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 such a minor defect. Then at that point in time, we would get our final payment, and they're more than welcome to hold back twice as much as what you know if it's a door and it's a two hundred dollar door, they can hold back four hundred dollars. So you're but, still okay with that? Oh yeah. They, but if they trust you, they know you're coming back. Yes. I always say, listen, you should hold money back because it's an incentive for you, right? right. Uh, you know, end of the Reasonable. year, we used to chase I, I got, money. So I, I, did a, I did a job for a client yesterday. We finished it up. I've been working. For, I did their basement. I, they moved. I didn't talk to them for 15 years. They call me and says, hey, we moved. Do some bathrooms. And then five years later, we went back and just did some work in some of their closets. And shit, there was a little problem with some of the um, one of the light fixtures or yeah. something in the basement. And I said, you know, I'm not sure how much that's going to cost. And we get we get all done. And I just said. Uh, I said, I'll just throw that under warranty. And she says, five years? I said, yeah, it's, it's no big deal. It was a little fix. I mean, well, here, let me ask what, you question. what does it hurt? Greg, and both of you question. If somebody who did business for 19, 2019, if they call you within five years, something went wrong. Yes. Aren't you most, and it's not, they didn't like abuse it. Aren't you most likely just going to take care oh, of it? Yeah. Every yeah. time, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, it's just, it's not worth, you know, bickering over. Just go knock it out. Right. You have a whole service team, Greg, don't you? We do. Yep. Two. Yeah, they go out, they take care of business all the time. Yep. All day, every day. Now, what if a homeowner needs like a roof repair? Will you do a repair? We you? do. Um, you know, because a lot of times it, it could be a valley. Yeah. You know, that's bad. The roof's still in good shape, but the valley's done wrong or it's leaking. So, or a flashing wall around the chimney is very common. Put a saddle on the back of a chimney, uh, cutting a new counter, flashing, step flashing. So that's pretty common. Yeah, we do that quite a bit. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know because if someone wants to call, if someone wants to call Tittle Brothers 866 Roof 112. Correct. Yeah. Deal. Yeah, we, uh, the others. <laughs> right now we're doing uh, we're doing free roof inspections as well. So what we do is we come out and do a twenty one point inspection. You know, we we'll check all your soil stack flanges, your flashing walls. You have like a checklist. Yeah, we take do a pictures. checklist. Yeah. You go up on the roof. Yeah, yeah. Wow. All right, I'm gonna so, take a quick break. I want to break that down. When we come back. Sure. Sounds great. And do you do free kitchen in- inspections? <laughs> we're gonna inspections, talk about certainly. Why not? All right. My name's Adam Helfman. We have two great guests in studio. Keep the conversation going. We'll be right back. When you.
Welcome back. This is Hire It Done. My name's Adam Helfman. I've got Tom Mackey from Dana Insulation. We're talking about how to save energy in your home. Tom, give your cell phone out on the air right now. My cell phone, 586-298-4422. 298-4422. Area code 586. Got Tom Mackey from Dana Insulation. Tom, you got fiberglass insulation. You got cellulose. You got spray foam. Is there... A choice, which was the one that you, in your own home, what's the one you want to use more than anything else? Well, you know, I mean, I, I'll tell you exactly. I have cellulose in my walls, cellulose in my attic, and I have foam in all the bond place. I live in a, uh, a home that's on a crawl, so I have the crawl walls are all done with foam insulation, the closed cell foam. Um, so I have... So you got a good combo. Oh, I've got, you know, I've got, my home is insulated as well as you're ever going to insulate it. So does the foam insulation have off-gassing? You know, people are like VOCs, volatile organic compounds. Is there a problem, a, a risk? You know, no, okay. there is not. That's not I've good. never, ever experienced someone who needed to leave the home as a result of foam being installed. Now, let me ask you this. The homeowner calls you up and says, I heard John Hire done. I want you to insulate everything. My whole house, I want it done. Do the whole house. You do the whole house. Do you recommend... Now that you've tightened the house up and it's really good, do you recommend they call a heating and cooling company and get make sure the furnace has got good makeup air and it's got good combustion air? Because and now that the house is tight. And a humidifier. Oh, okay. You've got to have a humidifier. Because that'll dry everything. And up. you're going to need a dehumidifier in uh, okay, uh, so the you're summer not, months. Okay, sure. because that's really what makes the house like a really working machine. That's right. Okay, I'm okay with that. And yeah. I wanted to, that's why I was asking. Because some homeowners don't need need to know. There's other connected things in a house that do that. Yeah, there the insulation has a wide range effect uh, on the overall functionality of the home, and you need to be educated. And let's face it, we're we're here today. You're on the show every Saturday morning uh, for the simple reason you want educated homeowners. It's a you try. want people to get the opportunity to learn more every day about their home. I appreciate you telling me that. And, yes, that's what we're here for. We're here to educate homeowners because if you're educated on the project, on the product, on the topic, you're going to make a better decision. You're going to find a contractor that's not going to rip you off, not overcharge you. And at the end of the day, with Hire It Done's mantra, we want to give you hassle-free home improvement. That's right. That's it. That's so right. that's to keep it simple. Qualified, now, capable contractors who come in and do it right 99.9% of the time the first time. And, and, and to add to that, thank you for that, by the way. And to add to it, this is what makes Hire Done different. One of the qualities that we profile our contractors is we look for contractors that are solution-minded, meaning all contractors that are smart know there's, ma- there's mistakes in the job. Sometimes they make a mistake. Sometimes they do this. But the contractor that really excels is the one that solves the problem when they create one. But God forbid, oh, he stepped on a recess light, you know, this and that. It happens. Doggone right it happens. So at that point.
Welcome back. This is Higher It Done. My name's Adam Helfman. Great Saturday morning. Great information all, all, all morning, by the way. Don't forget there's a home show today at the Novi Home Show. Thinking of uh, getting out of the house. Great place to go kick the tires. They got a good uh, beef jerky guy there. <laughs> I always go there and get the... They sell bacon. It's good. It's really good. Jim, have you ever had homeowners... Jim Seggy, by the way, from Seggy Renovations. Have you ever had a homeowner invite you back to the kitchen that you just finished for dinner? Yeah. Cook a meal for you? Yes. Is it fun? Do you like that? It was, it was awesome. It was, you know, there there's, and, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, the, the jobs that I do, I truly love, and I put my heart and soul into it. Um, and just, it's just, you know, it's a, I used the word before transformation and that's what we do. We don't, we don't sell. I tell people, I don't sell you a bathtub and I don't sell you kitchen cabinets and I don't sell you a countertop. I sell you your kitchen. I sell you your bathroom. And to me and my entire staff, um, we just are extremely conscious of actually what it visually looks like. We're conscious of the longevity of the project and, um, you know, that's just... What's the most expensive kitchen you ever done? Probably 150 Oh, wow. That's pretty that's big. Expensive. Yeah. How about had, Greg Aroof? I had one project that was a, it was a... There was a kitchen, but it was a entire 7,000 square foot remod, so I didn't really separate that, so that was probably somewhere close to that area. Oh, that's a big one. Greg, what about... I know you've done big, big projects. Yeah. What's the yeah. biggest roof you ever done? In one single... Commercial or a home? Just a home. Over a hundred square? Oh yeah, we've had a we've one had a house. Couple. Yeah, Oy. yeah, we've had a couple that were. We did one in West Bloomfield. That was a cedar shaker. That was about this time last year. We took off cedar shake and had to put new cedar shake back on. And Whoa, I think that was eighty thousand. That's a, and how do you treat a cedar shake roof? Like you let it, you let it naturally, or do you seal it? What do you do? It's, it's from the manufacturer, so it's already. Oh really? Yeah. Is there a different type of cedar? Like you know how you have different oh, yeah. types of shingles. Yeah. There's Western, yeah, there's all kinds of different, but uh, we basically took off exactly what was on there, put the okay, yeah, it was, put it right it back. It's really nice. It was it was a cool project. Was, How long should the cedar roof last? Oh, they're probably what, lifetime. Yeah, same thing. Forty years done right. Yep. What's the what's the biggest mistake homeowners make when putting a new roof on today? Well, you know what I always tell uh, my homeowners is it's not what you get for your money is what you don't get for your money. You know, roofing is probably the easiest way to cut costs. Uh, you know, you'll hear somebody say, well, I say five, you know, I'm going to go with this guy because he's $1,000 or $500 cheaper than you. And then you drive by and you see the, the quality of products. You know, I always say uh, that, you know, if everybody's equal, if everybody has comp liability, you know, office, staff, trucks. Overhead. Overhead. And then how could they be cheaper if everybody's working on the same margin? And nine times out of ten, it's just use, it's just buying cheaper products. That's what it boils down to. So when you say cheaper products, sometimes they can buy the Owens Corning platinum shingle, but then they buy some underlayer that's some crap right. from somewhere else. Right. And, and they're, they're saying, oh, we got Owens Corning too. Well, we use the synthetic underlayer. The whole system. We use the whole system. So, you know, let's face it. You're going to pay a premium for that. But, you know, now we know, you know, after all these years of being in the roofing industry, the prep work is equally as important as the shingle that goes on. Making sure we do the six feet of water and ice guard, doing the ice guard twenty four inches inside the interior warm wall, yeah. the proper intake, the proper exhaust. It's not just putting shingles on your roof. Well, that's the, we've been beating that up for years. Years, but and, still, and, there's still contractors out there. They don't say, "Oh, that's nothing." As long as the shingles put on and the outside and the water runs off, you don't need to worry about anything else. I'm like, dude, you're never doing work for me. No, because like, that's crazy. Well, you look at their contracts too, and they say ice guard, felt, shingles. Yeah, well, it's like. Okay, well, there's thousands of yeah, ice Your guard. contract is very thorough. It is. and it tell Because, you know, I tell my customers, it's important that you know what you're getting on your house. It says Owens Corning duration shingle, Owens Corning right, And they get a armor. certificate. They actually get the warranty that's from Owens Corning. Correct. That makes sense. Uh, Jim, let me ask you a question. Sure. Hanging cabinets on a wall. Yep. I've seen tracks. Some people do that. I don't like that. Tracks? Yeah, you know, they, the, they put a track on the wall, then they hang the cabinet on the track. You ever uh, seen that? I, yeah. yeah, I guess I have, but I, it's not a... The best way to do is right into the studs, right? Right. Is there any tricks or any, any quality? Is there, how does a contractor cut corners on a kitchen? Cheaper cabinets? Usually cheaper cabinets, most certainly. Um, 
And, you know, it's really hard to say the term cut corners because you have to understand that there's a whole process that we go through. And it's just kind of like I just said, it's not just the cabinets. You can have it just, just like you were saying about shingles. You can get anybody to just come out and throw cabinets on the wall. Right. But what is the functionality of it? What does it look like? Does it look drop dead gorgeous when you get when you get all done? Or are you just hiring somebody that's going to just come out and, yeah, you can get a guy that's cheaper and he'll come and hang your cabinets and you can go here and buy this and do this and do that. But it's just exactly when you get done, people walk into a kitchen or a bathroom and they'll look at it. And they know that it's drop dead gorgeous, and they might not even know exactly what it is because it's everything. Well, that's the other thing. It's I'm a everything. stickler for detail, like crown molding. Yes. If it doesn't dead end and if it's not mitered perfectly, yes. I go nuts. You and me both. I can't. Is he used the wrong blade? What? What? Who are these contractors that miter stuff and, and steam it together? And I, you, I I I can't tell you the things. And just in my life, I walk around and I just. That's just how I am. I see stuff, and it just—it's like, and it's not even just kitchens. It's just why do you, who, who would think of that? Who well, would think of that? That's the reason why it's better to hire a pro and get it done right. Like Greg said earlier, part of the uh, um, the success of a good roof or a good project it is is the planning. Yes. The best shingle, Greg, is the one that's installed properly. Correct. Right? Correct. We always say it. Yeah, I mean it's. I, I truly believe with that the Owens Corning Flex uh, shingle that just came out last year. It's the SBS high impact. It's the hot thing going right now. Yeah, SBS. Yeah, and uh, the uh, the insurance companies are actually giving discounts on your insurance policy. If you go with the SBS. If you go with that SBS. It is more expensive. Um, but it's rubberized. But it's rubberized. Yeah, that's what they're and, doing. You're going to have any hell damage. Yep. Again, is it safe to say, tell me if I'm wrong, I'm overstating it, but you put would you put your name behind this? If you put a roof on a house and it's an Owens Corning roof, like you said, and it's the 50-year roof. Right. It's the last roof you'll ever buy. Yes? That's correct. Yes. And you stand by that. I stand by it 100%. Um, you know, if if I didn't believe in it, I see how Owens Corning works, how they take care of their claims, how they take care of any kind of issues. They're they're right on top of it. They they, you know, they take care of it. Sure. They address it. Um, so when you see that, I've went out and replaced some roofs uh, for their claims for other customers. Uh, I just did a flashing for a customer um, from another contractor that they paid me to do. So they stand behind it, and they they're a good company. Uh, That's important. You know, and plus they're right in Toledo, Ohio. So I mean, it's even easier. Owens Corning is the best. Well, look at that. Time, Time flies up. when you have a Jim Seggy Seggy Renovations. I like you. You're a good Thank guy. You. Tittle, you're I, I one of the best. I enjoy the show, and appreciate I it. I learn from you too. I I do. I enjoy all your guests, and appreciate it. I've been able to uh, stock up my arsenal of guys. Good man. You're a good guy. Well, folks, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week.